Can you explain to the audience everything they need to know about Nightmare on E Street 2? Um, everything they need to know about Nightmare on E Street 2 is that um, it's a more uh, mature, more polished fat trail, um, touching on a lot of different subjects. But at the same time, though, I feel like uh, I feel like it's just a, like a, 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 a older me who just still giving that big homie talk of my city, of my trenches. And, um, you know, I definitely represent the, tra the trap, man, and the trenches and the haves and the have-nots. You know what I'm saying? So, so the tape is just going to speak for the streets, I feel like. And for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, what city is it that you're referencing here? D.C. I'm from Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. And does it get any more specific than that for you? Any particular part of D.C. you represent? Oh, yeah, of course. I represent the north side. I'm from Northeast, 1600 block of East Street, 1513 Benton Road. Now, is this project considered a mixtape, EP, or album? Man, you know what, to be honest, that's a good question. I believe that the way uh, this Apple Music and Tidal Spotify thing is going on now, I really feel like almost every project is an album. Um, me as an artist, you know, I'm from the mixtape era, so I still call them tapes. And sometimes you might have a person or two from the label correct me and say, no, say album. But to be honest, I don't know. I just call them, now I'm just, now I like to call them projects. So I got a project <laughs> about to drop on a knife, and I'm trying to drop three projects after that. By the end of this year, I, I want to have four albums slash projects out, brand new music. And the ninth is in reference to June 9th. Yes, sir. For the release date for this particular project. Yes, sir. Now, this is number two. This is a sequel. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the original title and its meaning? Um, well, <clears throat> As far as the original title, like, you know, I'm from East Street. So, of course, there was a play on words with the Nightmare on East Street thing. Um, as far as, like, you know, when I first started rapping, I never imagined myself, like, making it big or actually becoming a signed artist, MTV Jams, BT 106 and Park. I never thought of none of those things. You know what I'm saying? So, my hood... East Street, we always been one of the top hoods in the city, known for everything, getting money, you know, everything. I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? We known for everything. So I felt like when I named that my first project, Nightmare on East Street, it's like I was bringing, I was bringing fans who went to college and who are doctors and lawyers, people who didn't grow up like how I grew up. I was bringing them into my world with that first tape. So that's why. I, I feel like I was really calling it Nightmare on East Street because I'm really about to explain to you where I come from. And, and basically where I come from is hell. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what the title originated from. Now, is this a title you came up with or someone coined for you? I originally came up with Nightmare on East Street. I originally came up with Nightmare on East Street. Now, as far as me coming home and the first project dropping, calling it Nightmare on East Street 2, that wasn't my idea. Um, the label, you know, Squirrelly and Dallas and Cody and Foams and Black and all them, they was getting all that, all those thoughts and ideas together while I was still uh, serving my incarceration time. So, was it my idea to make a two? No, it wasn't. But the original tape, Nightmare on East Street, yeah, that was me. I made that up. And that's a play on the movie Nightmare on Elm Street. Of course, yeah. Did you ever see the original film or any of the films in that series of films? I did, man, which is weird. Like, <laughs> probably a fun fact people don't know about me, man. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm scared of horror movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really, I'm not a horror movie fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I go watch them? Do I watch them? Yeah, I watch them with, with, with my little bras, go to the movies with a broad and watch it. But um, if I'm by myself, I would never watch a scary movie. You know what I'm saying? So. But yeah, I definitely saw, um, you know, I'm a 90s baby, man. So, I, excuse me, I definitely saw all the uh, Nightmare on Elm Streets. Now, Shout out to Freddy. Now, what is it about horror movies that scare you exactly? Why don't you like them? Is it something in particular about them you don't like? Okay, we're trying to give you, a, I'm going to try to give you a story. I'm going to try to make it short. Okay. So, one, when I was young, my father used to have custody of it would be over over me during the summers. 
So I go to school all school year, and then summertime I go stay with my father. So my grandma's house on my mom's side, I mean on my father's side, my grandmother's house on my father's side was a real big house. And like, you know, she from the country country, so she had a refrigerator upstairs in the kitchen, and she had another refrigerator and a deep freezer in the basement. So the refrigerator upstairs would be packed with groceries. And then, of course, downstairs we had canned peas, canned string beans and all that. Like, you know, my family, they, they still, like, pick their own corn, like, hand pick it, like, you know what I'm saying, and all that. So, boom, to make a long story short, my father took me to see my first grade movie. And um, I believe it was Halloween, uh, Michael Myers. And I would just remember being terrified and I kept closing my eyes and doing like this. And my father was taking my hands off my face like, you need to see this, that's the only way you're gonna get over this fear. So okay, cool, boom. So my first experience watching the scary movie at the theaters was with my father, he forced me to watch it. i never forget that. Then my grandma's house, like my grandma's house is so big that she'll be cooking in the kitchen and she might be in say trail go downstairs, get me a can of string beans and um, two uh, two jars of tomatoes. And the basement is so dark and creepy and the house make noises by itself. And um, and the basement steps, like, you know how it's usually like a carpet or wood right there that's covering each step? Well, in my grandma's house, the basement steps, it's nothing right there. So in my imagination, I used to always think that Michael Myers was under the steps and ready to grab my leg when I go back up the stairs. You know what I'm saying? So whenever she'd send me downstairs to get food, I used to hurry up and run back upstairs. Run back upstairs. So that's what that's that's where my my original fear of like horror movies came from. And then of course you dream about them. Like I don't know about anybody else, but when I watch a scary movie, I immediately dream about that scary movie and now I'm in that scary movie. You know what I'm saying? That's another reason why I don't like scary movies. Now in your opinion from all those horror movies you had a chance to see, mm -hmm. what's been the scariest movie to you, in your personal opinion? Oh, man, that's a great question. What's, what's been the scariest movie to me, in my honest opinion? Yeah. Horror. That you had a chance to see. Forgive me, I don't remember the name, right? But it was, it was the one where the couple was like, they was like, a couple was like, uh, I don't want to call them Ghostbusters, but they could hear the ghost. Like, you hired them to come to your house and get evil spirits out your house. And remember, uh, the family had bought a big house out Delaware, and, 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 and basically a family had got killed in the house, and so the dead bodies was coming out at night and all that stuff. Like, I forgot the name of that movie, man. But to me, that was, like, by far the scariest, scary movie I've ever seen. Now, there may be some in the audience that know exactly the movie you're referring to. Yep. And they can place that comment below this video. I believe it might be called The Conjuring or something like that. And if that is, those yeah. in the audience, let Trell know. Absolutely.